for types of sin? Yep. Hi. Hi. Welcome, everyone. Um, my name is Helen. I am a user service um, group consultant here at NERSC. And um, today we have about you know, 20 something people in the room, and we have more than 50 right now um, for most. Registration is even higher. <laughs> Let's see, we may need more people joining us today. So uh, today's talk um, is getting up to speed on OpenMP 4.0. The training is focused on OpenMP only. However, um, because um, OpenMP is is a basic, basic component of when you try to explore hybrid MPI OpenMP programming model, which is a um, recommended programming model for NERSC next system, um, Intel you know, by uh, night planning many core systems by to using hybrid MPI OpenMP to explore unknown shared memory. And it also is great because it's a portable programming model when you try when you put your application to run across DOE systems, whether it's a many core system or a CPU, GPU system. So I'm just trying to give you a few of the large logistics. Um, because of so many people joining us, we have to mute you and also stop your video. And we're going to record this whole session. That's why we are trying to get um, you know, more smooth workflow, everything. And we would like you to um, ask questions by uh, uh, typing in the chat window. We'll monitor and decide when, when it's best to answer them. There's also a, a designated question and answer session in the afternoon. <clears throat> So we'll make sure your questions get answered. And in person, people here, uh, we have a few things Wi-Fi on the board, and lunchtime will be on the own with uh, lots of downtown Oakland restaurants nearby. And we, there's a chance to visit the machine room if you're interested after the training. Here's the agenda. Uh, morning sessions are generally events and then uh, morning sessions. So that we have like one third of um, beginners people registered and about basically uh, for a super, super split up to 30% beginners, 40% intermediate, and 30% advanced. And the after sessions are more um, engaged, lively, as I have heard before. Mystery guest is to be entertaining, light tone. So welcome to stay for the whole day. And last, I want to introduce our speaker. Um, we're very happy to have Ruth Mandelpass here today. Um, he's a <clears throat> distinguished engineer in the um, architecture and performance group um, for microelectronics in Oracle. He is the co-author of the book Using OpenMP, um, published by NIT Press. So this Using OpenMP book, uh, the early days, I'm sure it's considered as a Bible book for using OpenMP. We all use it a lot before. Uh, Rose has background in mathematics and physics, working in the um, high performance computing area for over 25 years, expertise on um, shared memory systems. And she will truly give lots of tutorials, training, presentations um, at the, the um, large um, HPG meet conferences, supercomputing, international supercomputing. I want is the international workshop on OpenMT, and many of those are on OpenMT. So we're very glad, and we have all these. Lots of other here today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, welcome, welcome again. I immediately need to correct Helen a little bit. <laughs> the, the level of sophistication will increase over time. So, um, but I certainly want to focus on people that are not very familiar with OpenMP. And after this, especially after the morning talk, I hope you all feel more confident about just giving it a try and get started. But there will be some fairly deep sections in the leave in that in that introduction uh, because it's a natural fit. And the afternoon will be about performance only. I'm not sure if the word advanced, it depends on where you come from, but um, certainly some nasty cases that I, that I came across, I want to share with you. So the morning, uh, the morning program is quite tight. 
And that's why um, I've asked uh, Helen to moderate the questions. I, I encourage questions, but it shouldn't um, take away too much time uh, from the morning session. And actually, there's no such thing as a short question. That's totally irrelevant. It's the length of the answer that matters. If I ask you what's the origin of the universe, it's an extremely short question, but the answer is a little lengthy. And uh, she'll moderate, and if she thinks that, okay, this is time to intervene, she'll do that. So go ahead and ask your questions in the chat session. You know, uh, they sometimes talk about this elevator pitch, uh, supposed to say something in a minute or so. I can't do that, so we'll have a one hour elevator pitch. <laughs> That's the first overview until the break. Uh, after the break, um, I'll go I'll go deeper um, in more like how do you use all that stuff and some do's and don'ts. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll finish with what I call additional functionality that has been added to OpenMP at a certain point over time. And that's not necessarily useful for everybody, but I will focus on what I think is useful for most of you. And including like tasking and CC NUMA support. I'll defer some topics to other tutorials because there's simply no time to cover all of this in a meaningful way in the two plus hours that, that we have. So there we go, the one, one hour elevator ride um, until the break. First of all, what's OpenMP? Well, the problem, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be modest on the animation, by the way, but it couldn't resist to have these big elephant slowly bounce in. Um, here's the problem. Many people have an opinion on OpenMP and don't mind expressing it, but often they're wrong. And that's what this uh, cartoon uh, tries to depict. You look at some, some small thing and you think you see the whole big picture, but you don't. And of course, the purpose of this day is to dispel a lot of these myths. And I'll be totally honest with you. Um, we know where you got to be careful. I'm not going to hide anything, but sometimes it's a little upsetting to see what people say about OpenMP. And here's an example from the Atlas page. And I verified last night, they still have it on their page. I've been showing this a couple of times now, just as an example of what kind of, in my opinion, silly things are written about OpenMP. I quote this verbatim from, from that web page. They say, building, using OpenMP in general is a bad idea. Well, that's, that's encouraging. Um, and why? Because they say OpenMP is much slower than PPRIS. Well, at the end of this long day, I, I hope you understand that this is fairly upsetting. Um, and the next quote is actually wrong because it says, the reason is affinity support. And there are two mistakes in here. Now, I, I won't ask questions to the audience, but there's a lot of people dialing in. Um, I hate it when speakers do that, but why are there two things wrong? Well, first of all, PFLED has no nothing. PFLED is an extremely simple API, and you've got to roll a lot of it wrong. Nothing wrong with that, but don't suggest that PFLED has affinity support while OpenMP does, because OpenMP has that as well. So that's it. That's a, when you go and search, you'll find a lot of these things. And again, the purpose of this day is to dispel that. That was the first round. There will be more to follow, but I'll try to behave. <laughs> OK. For a long, long time, since, since its start, OpenMP had a very extreme, extremely simple model. There was one system. One shared memory, they had a bunch of at that time processors, we didn't have cores yet. And in addition to the shared memory, you would have some sort of notion of local or private memory. That was that was what OpenMP was targeting. And of course, when it came out, systems were mostly small. So that was the model. And until 2013, that was what OpenMP was about. Then in July 2013, the, the 4.0 specs came out, and um, that changed. That changed a lot. So this is now the kind of architecture that you can target. And on purpose, I, I choose a bigger system so you can go larger scale. And that's actually what's behind it is the CC NUMA support. These machines, you you got to optimize for CC NUMA. That's available in OpenMP. And you can use accelerators in, in OpenMP. You can target them. So that makes a one programming model. So that's a fairly 
modern but much more complex architecture, especially when you look at it from this point of view, what it looks like inside. So this kind of, I think, pretty complex system can all be targeted with OpenMP. And again, throughout the day, I'm going to show how to do that. More information on OpenMP, there are several websites. I'd like to go to openmp.org. That's the single entry and it'll, it'll get you to other places. But there's a um, IWOMP International Workshop on OpenMP page. Now, since the, this is the first year, we'll have the OpenMPCon. So there's an OpenMPCon and there's a user group page, Community. And you know, ask me, I think we should have one, but okay, this is the state of the, where we are. Just go to openmp.org and, um, and, and you'll, you'll get to these other sites as well. So again, the big, the big breakthrough in a way, I think, came with OpenMP 4.0. Uh, released, the specs were released in July 2013. It always takes compiler writers some time to actually implement all that stuff, and sometimes more than a little bit of time. Um, so but by now, I think um, most, if not all, OpenMP compilers have 4.0 support. It's one thing that people tend to overlook. When you release the specifications, you need to wait for the next compiler cycle to have it available. So always check, but I think by now it's probably safe to say that Pretty much everybody supports it. I couldn't resist um, saying this plug, um, but the book, Helen already mentioned it, so I'll be very quick on this, uh, this slide. Uh, there is, um, I know there's a recorder, but there's a new one in the works. So, yeah, taking a little bit too long, but specs have grown in size quite a bit. <laughs> okay. One thing that um, few people know, and maybe because you know, I'm, I'm lazy in, in kind of selling it, is all the examples from the first book are available online. And of course, you don't have to buy the book. You can just go to this website, you get a zip file, and you have all the sources. And I try to keep it simple. I, I hate that kind of software where it takes me three days to go through a configure script to make it work. Um, this is just, every example is just one self-contained source. You can take one source code, compile, and run and go. And it should work. I tested it with several compilers. I asked some other people test it with several compilers. So they're simple and they're discussed in courses, but as an educational thing, if you just want to get started, I would just go there and grab the zip file and, um, and use them. I think Helen actually found some small glitches. I should update the zip file, but overall, just call Helen and she'll fix what I broke. <laughs> okay. All right. So, what is OpenMP? OpenMP is a de facto standard. It's not an official ISO, um, IEEE kind of standard. That's, that's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is, is that you can move quicker. The bad thing is you've got no kind of law to enforce to conform to the standard. But luckily, everybody sticks to the standard. So it does mean that, that OpenMP programs are very portable. And where there are rooms for the implementation to make a choice, I will point that out. And, and those are fairly benign. I mean, you, you write your OpenMP and you're good to go on pretty much, I think, every compiler. So that's a, that's a nice thing. It's a programming model for C, C++, and Fortran. Um, today, I will focus on C, C++. I will have some Fortran examples. Um, but I had to make a choice. I can't duplicate everything in, in two languages, so I selected C. Right? I hope that's okay with you. With OpenMP, you get a set of compiler directives to control, to define the parallelism. You get runtime routines. The runtime routines you can use to query what is going on and to change certain settings. But the easiest one, in a way, is the number of threads. In an OpenMP program, you can change the number of threads as the program executes. We can't do that at arbitrary points. 